Hello and welcome. You're watching Business Today TV. I'm Sakshi Batra, and this is Royal Rantham Board presents BT Golf. I'm Sakshi Batra with me Tanya, and we have got a very very special guest joining in right here with us. Mohammad Azruddin, former India cricket captain, joins right in. Welcome, sir, and thank you so much for speaking to us on Business Today right, TV. Right. Well, it's the BT Golf. We've often spotted you on the cricket grounds. We've heard you talk a lot about it, teach a lot of youngsters as well. But what brings you to you know BT Golf, and you know what does golf really mean to you? Well, it's a an outstanding sport, you know. I mean, it's played by all the big wigs, rich people. So <laughs> I'm not as rich as uh, some of the golfers are, yeah. or the people who play. So that's why I've not taken up golf. But uh, today, I really enjoyed coming here. You know, I mean, it's always nice to come. Which sport, according to you, requires more focus or is more tougher? Well, everything in life is without focus, you can't do anything. Right. Without there are two things you have to follow: passion and focus. Once you have the passion, then you have to focus. If you don't have uh, either of the one. I mean, either of the two. I mean, it's very difficult uh, to achieve anything in life because I mean, unless you, if you really want to become successful, if you uh, really want to reach the pinnacle of playing the sport, or for that matter, uh, any any walk of life, you know, I mean, like then if you don't have do two things, it's very hard to. And then you have to have the skill, anyways. Absolutely. Right. As I said, sir, uh, you know the league style of playing golf is also becoming quite popular across the world. Do you think it is after IPL that this has happened? Well, I think it's, it's not bad. I really don't know much about the uh, what you are talking about. But I think it will be very good. You know, I think it should happen in India also you know, because okay. I think golf is such a big game. You know, has been played all over the world. You know, people go from like all night. Most of the former cricketers, you know, they don't carry their suitcases. Actually, call, <laughs> carrying them golf uh, yes. kits. You know, then they, wherever they travel, they take the golf very seriously. I mean, I think some yeah, it's very nice. I mean, like they really. I've uh, changed from cricket to golf very quickly, and then yes. some of the players are playing very well. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So, what, according to you, I mean, what is the biggest USP of BD golf, and what do you think of BD golf as an event? I think I'm very happy because it's, this is these are type of events you know you need to do to get the people uh, interested in the game. You know, because I think this is a business India thing, and uh, I think I'm sure there are a lot of uh, yeah. business people who would have uh, come and played. I, I was given to understand that the uh tournament or uh, started in the morning and uh, yes. i think we were waiting for the results so i think i was the last one who had to uh, tee off you know and i <laughs> teed off but i don't think i'll be playing along but uh, it's very nice you know i think if these are the events you know which will really help uh, i mean uh, people get together you know not playing in a, maybe in a, not in a professional way but it will definitely get some of the People who have not played will get into sure. it. Absolutely. What about you, sir? Do you also get together with former cricketers like Kapil Dev and Ajit right. Dada, who have actually turned golfers now after cricketers? Yeah. I am not <laughs> taken it up as 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 yet because I've got a lot of. Uh, I mean, like, I I don't find much time, you know, for for this yeah. thing. You know, you need to be dedicated. You know, simply, I just whenever I play anything, you know, it has to be. I mean, like hundred percent. Otherwise, I I will not do it. You know, like for example, if I. I mean, like the other day, I was playing a game, cricket game. You know, if I, I told them, if I go into the field, I will play the whole yes. game. I don't want to do half and half, you know, yeah, because then right. it doesn't look nice. So, hopefully, maybe uh, Kapil Paji is playing well, Ajay <laughs> plays well. Yes. There's so many. I mean, Nikhil Chopra, his son also is playing yes. really well. So, I think it's very nice, and I'm very nice to know those uh, people are playing well. But uh, maybe one day, I'm not sure. Okay, absolutely. Okay. And what, according to you, is the future of women cricket in India, and what needs to be done at this point in time? I think the BCC has done a lot for the uh, cricket in India for women. Mm -hmm. I think if you have noticed before uh, BCC took over the women cricket, it was there were dole drums, you know, no funds, nothing was happening. But now with the BCC taking over the women's cricket, also is very good, and I think it's put in a lot of money. And I think the results are showing. I think it's very unfortunate that we lost the uh, World Cup semi-final. Mm -hmm. But these things happen, and I'm sure the girls will definitely learn from the losses and then. Uh, uh, do well in the next uh, coming tournament and uh, congratulate the under 19 uh, uh, india women's team for winning the world cup you know i think yeah. that's where the gra from we have started doing well from the gra grassroots and i think it will it, the future is very good now ipl right. is coming the women's yes. ipl yes. it's very very big now if you see the team that have uh, been sold for uh, yeah. at an exorbitant uh, rate you know exorbitant price you know right, yeah. so, so 
Also, what exactly would you be really advising all the Gen Z, all the youngsters who want to write, take up sports in India, both women and men, and you know the kind of landscape change that you've witnessed over the years, from the time that you started to play sports, and from the time now that we are seeing so many opportunities emerging, just like how you pointed out, IPL now the digital era has started as well. Is that going to give more, uh, uh, you know, enthusiasm to all the aspiring sportsmen and uh, sportswomen in India? No. Opportunities are always there. It's, you have to grab the opportunities. Opportunity, opportunity is always there for you. So sometimes we don't look at those opportunities. We're seeing that, okay, fine, we'll do it, we don't do it. By that time, the opportunity is gone because you have to be in sync with the time because you can't, because time is the essence of life. If you don't, I mean, give time to things, you know, what you want to do, if you want to achieve something, it's very, very hard to uh, achieve anything. But I think the most important thing I would tell the young boys and girls, you know, is to have a passion and then do the right things in life you know because i think with the advent of so much social media and so many things are coming up with all these things you know because sometimes they can they can easily get swayed by things you know but uh, it is very important that you become a good citizen of the country and earn the respect of the people and respect one another you know like i mean maybe women men you know you have to be very clear on that thought you know once i think it is basically i mean the parents uh, job also to make sure that they have to inculcate those uh, ideas you know those uh, manners you know which we were very fortunate at that sure. time that we got to uh, got this from our parent from our elder yeah. i'm not saying that it's not happening but yeah. i think can do more all right well thank you so much mr azrizain for being with us and speaking to us exclusively on business today tv and being with us on this show of our bt golf tournament as well always a pleasure having you with us many thanks for being with us thank you, thank you so much presented by royal ranthambore heritage collection